doing i hope you're all doing great welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support for your time i know time is so important but you taking your time to watch my videos it means a lot to me so thank you so much god bless you but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you won't regret subscribing i can promise you this so dear friends today's video i know some of you will be like bella you are scaring us <laughs> but it's not what i am trying to do guys what i am trying to do is to help you out to be aware of these things to know that they exist and when they happen to you then you know how to react or you know how to go about it so i'm simply helping you guys <laughs> and uh, today's video is when to leave your relationship with your white man or with a white man and when to stay this relationship can be a love relationship or it can be married before i go further if you are searching for a black man or any man of any race consider these tips very helpful i'm saying a white man because most of my viewers are interested in dating a white man so i want to ask you a question dear beautiful ladies <laughs> i imagine you have been chatting with a white man or you met this white man somewhere in real life and everything is going very very well that you are intending to get married or you get married but you come to find out that the man you married is not what you imagined to be or he has got some characters that you overlooked or you just got blinded and then boom you are in this relationship that is stressing you <laughs> and you tell yourself oh my god i wish i knew this man was like this but you are already in this marriage or you are already in this relationship have you ever asked yourself this question what if my marriage with a white man goes bad what will i do and you are in a foreign land guys <laughs> what would you do that is why i am here guys <laughs> in this video i'm going to give you the tips which will help you to know if i find myself in this situation with this white man in our marriage or in our relationship should i leave or should i stay so i'll start with the tips that will tell you it's time to leave and i also share with you the tips that will tell you no it's time to stay so one time i was listening to a lady who was advising other ladies that hey beautiful ladies never leave your relationship never hold on to your marriage never leave your marriage <laughs> no matter what happens just hold on to it don't leave your marriage <laughs> so i laughed so much guys and the reason why i laughed it's because there are some situations whereby you will have to leave no matter how much you really want your marriage to continue but you have to leave and also there are some situations whereby you don't have to leave your marriage you don't have to leave your relationship you will have to stay you will have to hold on to your relationship you will have to hold on to your marriage okay beautiful ladies so i'm going to start with this tip which will help you in the next tips that i'm going to be sharing with you so if you're chatting with a white man online or you have met this white man in real life not online but you are in a relationship you are planning to get married and this man will have to invite you so that you can live with him in his country the first first thing when things get serious that you really need to talk about is if this man is willing 
to allow you continue working. I imagine you are a lady who is so active and you have your own businesses or you have your job. So you want to continue working after getting married or after you have transferred to live with this white man. So ask this man if he is okay that you continue working. And if he says no, then girl, do not overlook this. Do not think that Europe life is easy, everything is okay. <laughs> I heard hospitals are free, everything is free in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my husband so there is no problem I'm going to go ahead and get married to this white man even if he does not want me to work <laughs> girl you will be in trouble yes because your job is so important it's so important you continue working but if this man tells you don't work and I'll be paying you monthly then that's okay <laughs> that's very okay because like I told you guys, I have friends who are paid just to stay at home by their husbands. It's because it's what they agreed on before getting married. Because having money in your bank, your own money, makes you feel good. <laughs> it makes you feel very good, very happy, very independent. <laughs> But if you don't have any money, you are depending on this man, then you are going to find yourself very stressful. You will feel sick sometimes. <laughs> but in real sense, guys, you don't have any sickness, but you will feel sick because <laughs> you are broke. You don't have any money in your bank or in your pockets because you are not working, you are depending on this man. He might buy everything for you, he might give you everything, but without money in your bank account, without money in your pockets, you are in trouble. If something happens, you are in big trouble. So it's important you ask this man if he is willing to allow you continue working when you get married or when you start living together. If he says no, I would advise you, girl, don't continue this relationship. Just stop it. So I thought I should share this with you first before I start giving you uh, today's tips, which are when to leave your relationship with your white man and when to stay. So let us start our video right away. Tip number one, I've talked about this, but I'm going to repeat it again and again and again until some ladies get to understand this, especially those who are going through this situation. Cause I am someone who is very against domestic violence. So if you are dating or you are married to a white man or a man of any race that is violent to you, he beats you up, he is so aggressive on you, when he gets angry, he throws things on the floor, he throws things on the wall. Do not think that this man is just angry. Don't take it lightly. It all starts with a slap. He slaps you once, he will slap you again, and the next day, he will throw you on the window. He's throwing things on the floor, telling you that, you know what, next time, you will be the one I will throw on the window. I've seen some cases whereby women, whereby women have lost their lives by being thrown on the window. A man gets angry, fights you, and then throw you down on the window so do not think this man is just angry no it will just pass it's just happened once no it starts with a slap and it ends with your life he is going to end your life so never think twice to leave a man who is violent to you please please i beg you don't think twice don't listen to those people who are telling you hold on to your marriage don't leave your marriage in this case you should leave without turning back 
it's you that is going through that situation it's you that is going to take your life into your hands not other people around you don't think of anyone else think about you because it's all about your life my dear beautiful ladies so in this situation leave 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 this white man tip number two i really hate this and i don't wish any lady to go through such a situation you are dating a white man or any man of any race and you find yourself in a situation whereby this white man is taking you for granted it really feels very very bad to love someone and then take you for granted so you are dating this man and he cheats on you when you ask for an explanation he tells you yes I cheated so what what do you want <laughs> he never say I am sorry he uses you for economic support but he never appreciates he never takes care of you everything that he does it is for his own good for his own happiness not for the happiness of the two of you nor for his own happiness because he takes you for granted he takes things that you think they are so important very lightly <laughs> Dear beautiful ladies, if you find yourself in a such relationship or in a such marriage, it's better to leave. I know you are going to tell yourself, I'll fight for my marriage, I'll try to change this man, but the truth is, he will never change unless he wants to change. But you cannot change him. You won't be able to change this man. And why be in a relationship whereby this man is taking you for granted why you should be in a relationship with a man who don't take you for granted with a man who will appreciate every effort that you put in your relationship you should be with a man who will say i am sorry when he does something wrong not date a man or not be in a marriage whereby this man never say i am sorry never appreciates when he does something wrong, he wants you to say, I am sorry. Instead, or he just tells you, what do you want? Yes, I did it. So what? Is that I am sorry? Not at all. Why should you be in that relationship? So dear beautiful ladies, I repeat, if you find yourself in a such kind of a relationship, please leave. Leave before you get depression. And we know depression kills. When you are depressed, you can even think of taking your life. So why should you take your life just because of a man who takes you for granted? He does not deserve that. So leave, 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 leave. Don't look back. <laughs> Number three, when to leave your relationship with a white man. I think I talked about this before, but I am going to insist again on this. If you are married or you are in a relationship with a white man that is manipulative, he manipulates you to an extent of making you believe without him you will never be able to live. You can't live without him. He manipulates you to an extent he wants you to be around him only so he will block all the contact with your friends all the contact with your family to him it's you and him that's all the world revolves only around the two of you which is impossible yes you should be together yes but you need friends in your life you need your family in your life but if a man isolates you from your friends, isolates you from your family and make you believe that it's okay that way, girl, think twice. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. And this man's plans are not good. 
a man who is a manipulator is very very dangerous why am i saying this this man will make you live in fear because he will put your self-esteem very low on the ground guys on the ground because you cannot talk until he allows you to talk <laughs> If he does something wrong, you should be the one to apologize, <laughs> not him. Because <laughs> he is always right. He will make you believe that he is always right. Whatever he says is right. Whatever he says is correct. Is that life? It's not life at all. So why should you stay with a man that will treat you that way? Why? Why, my dear beautiful ladies? So it's better to leave. If you are lucky, you are dating this man, you are not married yet, it's time to stop this relationship. If you see any sign of a manipulator in the white man that you are dating, better stop the relationship as early as possible. I'm telling you like this because most women that have been in this situation it is always difficult to get out of it because an excellent job of a manipulator is to brainwash you so these ladies have been brainwashed it becomes very difficult for them to leave a man who is a manipulator so when you see a sign that is why i'm saying if you are lucky and you see a sign of a manipulator in the man that you are dating, it's better to leave that relationship. No matter what he tells you, you should leave because that is jail, that is lack of freedom. You should be able to speak, you should be able to express your feelings, you should be able to be in contact with your friends and your family because they matter so much to you. I remember there is a girl that I helped. I think one time I shared something on my Instagram about a lady who was in a very toxic relationship. So this lady, every time she wanted to leave this man, the man was like, I will take my life. <laughs> he could go and take a knife and be like, I'll take my life if you leave me. Do you know what I told the lady? Leave him. He will not take his life. He won't. He is just manipulating you to believe that he is going to take his life, but he won't. And I'm glad this lady listened to me and left this man. This man never took his life. <laughs> Actually, it has been one month since she left and she's very happy about it. So leave this man who is a manipulator. Please, my dear beautiful ladies. Tip number four on when to leave a white man you are in a relationship with or you are in a marriage with. This one, guys, is very special for those who are still dating. If you are dating a white man and then you go visit him or you are chatting and he talks very badly about his parents, he talks very badly about people around him or you go visit him and then you see that this man is so arrogant to his mother and the father or the relatives very very arrogant and everyone around him he is very arrogant but when he talks to you he is so humble <laughs> <laughs> that is the red sign guys this man is becoming very humble down to earth because he wants to win you he wants you to marry him <laughs> but after you have married he is going to be extra extra arrogant because that is his character so when you see this sign, it's time to stop that relationship. It's going to be a very toxic one. A man who cannot respect his mother or his parents that brought him 
in this world, do you think he is going to respect you? Do you think he's going to be nice to you? No, you are not special. You are not. It is just a matter of time. And then it will be your turn. So if you see this, please leave, 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 leave this man. Number five, on when to leave a man or a white man you are in a relationship with or in marriage is if you come to find out a man you have been married to is a criminal or a man you have been dating is a criminal or has got a criminal record or has got a domestic violence record in the past. This can be tricky <laughs> to find out, especially the domestic violence situation. But if you are lucky and you come to find out, it's time to leave that relationship. Because I think I talked of this also. A man who is a criminal has got nothing to lose in his life. Nothing. So if he is a criminal, he can even take your life without thinking twice. Do not tolerate that. Do not say, I won't leave him because he is a criminal. He might come after me. It's better you try. Yes, it's better you try because even if he does not come to look for you, you continue living with him. He might take your life while living with him. So it's better to try. Never stay in a relationship with a white man who is a criminal or who has got a domestic violence record. There are two examples that I'm going to be giving you on this because I know when we are in love, we always get blinded <laughs> and we don't even listen to anyone when they tell us there is fire we just go and step <laughs> in the fire <laughs> just in the name of love so this example there was a lady who was dating a guy and then this guy came to be a criminal she found out about it this man was taken into prison and because they were just in a relationship this girl continued her relationship with this man in jail she could go in jail and meet this man they continued their plans until they got married when a guy was still in jail the relationship continued marriage relationship because they got married parents did not agree about it there was no relative present on their wedding because everyone who loved that lady was against that relationship but she never listened. So after five years, when this man got out, they lived like two years, and then this man took a life of this lady in front of the parents. Yes, guys, he is a criminal. He's not scared of anything. He went straight to the house of the parents and boom, 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 took her life. Can you imagine the shock of the parents? That is why I am telling you guys, if you are dating a man and you come to find out he has got, he has got some criminal activities, just run. <laughs> Another example, there was a guy who was dating a lady and because he was aggressive, he was a criminal, took the life of this guy. After that, he was a suspect. Then he went and started another relationship with another lady, but that lady knew that the guy was a suspect of that other lady who lost her life. But she blinded her eyes and dated the guy, saying that no, it's not true, he is not the one, they're just suspecting him, and that's all. After three years, the guy did the same thing again, and then he was taken into jail, because the first one, there was no enough evidence. 
but this second one there was enough enough evidence that he is the one that took the life of the second lady but when you come to think about it these two ladies the one who married a guy who was in jail and the one who married a guy who was a suspect they were all blinded by love if it wasn't that they could have been alive today so that is why i'm telling you my dear beautiful sisters if you are lucky and you come to find out about this don't take any excuses from this man just leave so dear sisters when to stay in your relationship with your white man or your marriage when to hold on to it when <laughs> I'm going to share only two tips, guys. One, if you find yourself in a situation whereby you have allowed your friends to enter into your marriage or your relationship matters so much, and these friends are stressing you, pushing you to leave your man, telling you life in Europe when you are single, you can be very successful, life is so easy, it's so fun, or just leave your man because you can get a better one. <laughs> what I am telling you, do not listen to these friends. Hold on to your marriage because we never know the real intentions. They might be jealousy of you or they just want you to live the life they are living because you are the friend so they want you to be on the same level with them it's not that they want something good for you so never listen to friends and to start with never allow your friends to enter so much into your marriage matters handle these things for yourself first because it's you that is living your life remember every relationship is different yes some of your friends that are telling you to leave your husband might be married and maybe they're trying to give you an idea of comparing your marriage to their marriage that is why they're telling you leave that man you can get a better one just like the one that I'm married to. Don't listen to them. Your marriage is your marriage. <laughs> their marriage, their marriages is their marriages. You shouldn't leave your boyfriend or your husband just because the friends are telling you you can get a better one. Life is very easy. If you are single, if you are single, you'll be successful in Europe. It's not true those people that are telling you so they don't want something good for you what i am telling you life is very difficult remember you are alone in that country <laughs> the only person you have that you know very well is your husband these people that are telling you you will get a better one what if you listen to them and then you fall into the hands of a criminal or you fall into the hands of a wrong man what they are promising you it's not that you have experienced it or it's not that they have experienced it no, they are promising you the life that you have not lived yet why should you live the life that you are living right now and go live the life that you don't even know like I told you guys, life in Europe is very difficult, it's very expensive and if you are alone and you don't have a stable job, you will be in trouble. Those friends are going to laugh at you. So it's better to hold on to your relationship. Yes guys, hold on to it. Tip number two on when to stay in your relationship is if you find yourself in a situation whereby you doubt your life so much the life that you are living just because of social media social media can be good but it can be very bad it can destroy your life it can make you the sad person 
if you are not smart because we see a lot of things on social media people posting about their lives and then you might think hmm, maybe the man that i'm married to is very poor it's time to change i should change this man and marry a richer one so that I can be able to live the life that I see on social media. Yes, guys, these things happen. I'm saying these things because I have seen them happening. <laughs> As you know, guys, I help a lot of ladies. So I've seen these things happening. People leaving their relationships just because of social media. If you find yourself in that situation, what I am telling you is, do not leave your man just because you think he is poor because other people are living the best life. We don't know the real truth, the real life of those people we see on social media. That is why, example, me, I will never look at someone who is living a luxury life and immediately say, this person inspires me. Before I know where her money is coming from, what she does for life, the whole story behind her success. When I know, yes, I will say that this person inspires me. But just looking at people's lives without going deep into it, without knowing them, without knowing the truth, I will never say that this person inspires me. I will never think that my life is a poor one just because the other person has posted something luxurious or living the luxurious life. No, I'll never do that. That is why I am telling you, stop thinking like that. Don't leave your marriage just because of social media. One time I was talking to a friend. This friend is in Africa, but she is searching for a white man. So this friend was telling me there is this group of girls or ladies that are on social media and all of them are married to rich, rich white men, the tycoons. <laughs> and what she told me, she was like, oh my God, they are so lucky. They found the rich ones. She also told me one of them got divorced from one of the rich guys and then the friends helped her find another rich one. <laughs> <laughs> more than the first one so these ladies on social media what they are trying to show to other ladies is that it's it's easy to get a man when you leave the husband that you're married to or the boyfriend that you're living with and also it's easy to get the rich man but I told that girl I don't know which part of Europe these ladies live I don't know the real real life of these ladies so i'm not going to comment anything about it but i told her the truth that i know it's not that easy to get a man right away when you divorce or when you leave your relationship remember it's a foreign country and you are a woman of color it's not that easy people should not lie to you so if your man don't have any problems that are very serious like the one that i shared before hold on to your marriage if there is a problem sit with your man and solve it talk make sure you solve that problem as we all know marriage is not easy but if you love each other then you can manage it <laughs> <laughs> there are days that you will wake up very angry there are days that you're going to fight there are days you want to just lock yourself in a room and think about life you know a little bit then after that go and talk to this man talk solve your problems kiss make peace and life continues do not leave your man just because of the things you see on social media europe life is not easy you are going to leave this man and then you will live if you think you are living a poor life you will live a poor <laughs> i don't know if it's the right word <laughs> more poor than the life that you are living 
yes guys so that's the end of our video thank you so much for watching till now it has been long yes but i hope it helped you if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good <laughs> comment below what you think about this video i love you so much you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video. Bye.